Hello everybody, my name is Adam Agatropo and today we're on the first video about custom cards I created for Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro. Now, I know I already said this when I first published the Vanguard deck, but this is the first video in which I show myself and talk about these cards. Now, you will already have seen all of the all of the cards I made and all of those I ported into Yu-Gi-Oh Pro, like the Royal Paladins. Today I'm gonna talk about three cards: Royal Paladin Blaster Blade, Royal Paladin Crimson Butterfly Bridget, and Royal Paladin Conviction Knight Bors. Let's talk about the first one: Royal Paladin Blaster Blade. It's a level 8 light, light monster and it's a water type monster with 2500 attack points and 2000 defense points. It is also a scale 1 pendulum monster. There are a few things to say about this monster. The first one is that it cannot be pendulum summoned at the moment in the deck because the maximum scale is 8, so the maximum level of monsters you can summon is 7. Then, how can you summon this monster besides tribute summoning? The only way, the only other way is besides using spell or trap cards that are not part of this deck, is its effect. If you control two or more light monsters, you can special summon this card from your hand. This effect is the only thing that allows this monster to automatically summon in itself. But how can you get two monsters, two light monsters on the field? That's pretty easy. Basically, the whole deck um, moves around the fact that you can pendulum summon from level 3s to level 7s. So, you can place a scale 2 royal paladin like Flogal, like Bringer Ripona, Yggdrasil Maiden, Elaine, and other stuff, and a scale 8 monster like Conviction Knight Bors, Crimson Butterfly Bridget, and Solitary Knight Cancel It. Blaster Blade is uh, the most iconic monster of the deck since it's the main vanguard of the protagonist of the card fight vanguard anime, Eichi Sendo. But what about his other ways of being utilized, as the fact that you can use it to Pendulum Summon as it is a scale 1 monster and it can be used to summon even level 2 monsters that cannot be pendulum summoned besides using Blaster Blade as a pendulum scale. You can even use it for generic purposes like placing it in a pendulum deck, etc. The second card is Crimson Butterfly Bridget. It's a level 6 warrior type monster and it is a light attribute monster. It has 2000 attack points and 0 defense points and it is also a scale 8 pendulum monster. How about its effect? If this card attacks, it gains, it gains 300 attack until the end of the damage step. During the end phase, send the top 3 cards of your deck to the graveyard. Crimson Butterfly Bridget is basically a Jane Lightstorm Paladin, but it has more attack points and it sends more cards from the deck to the graveyard and it is an higher level monster it is also a pendulum card that you can use as a pendulum skill the main purpose of its effect is that you have to send three monster three cards from the deck to the graveyard and in the royal paladin deck list i suggest all cards are light monsters so, with the effect of Crimson Butterfly, you send 3 cards and then use these cards to summon Holy Dragon Saint Blother Dragon, the ace monster of this deck. The other effect is that it's a 2000 attack points monster, gains 300 attack points every time it attacks. So, it's not that bad. Also, it is a scale 8 pendulum monster, it's the limit of the Royal Paladin deck as there are no monsters with higher scales. But it's pretty good because with this you can summon up to level 7 monsters, even if there are no level 7 royal paladins, but you can still pendulum summon level 6 royal paladins that 
are pretty good, considering this one that gains 300 attack points, and considering the following one. Royal Paladin Conviction Knight Boars. This is a level 6 warrior type monster and it has a light attribute. It, it has 2000 attack points and 0 defense points and is a skill 8 pendulum monster. It can be easily used as it has, its, it has the following effect. Once per turn during your main phase you can pay 1000 life points. If you do, your opponent cannot activate spell trap cards until the end of the turn. This completely blocks the opponent from activating spell and trap cards for the rest of the turn and it is pretty good because it's a level 6 monster, you can even use it for generic purposes as you have to tribute just one monster to warm or summon it and you can completely stop the opponent from protecting himself from an eventual attack of a high attack points monster like Holy Dragon Saint Blood Dragon that has 3000 attack points then supported with such a monster your opponent cannot even react to its effects besides the fact that the opponent can have monsters that can negate activations etc but Conviction Knight Boars already stops two of the three options that your opponent has to stop your monsters. Now, the fact that it's a scale 8 pendulum monster is the same as Crimson Butterfly Bridget. You can use it to pendulum summon up to level 7 monsters and this will allow you to have or to have a lot of light monsters on the field, especially two or more in order to special summon Blaster Blade. Now I want to talk about one extra card I didn't mention at first. The following card is Royal Paladin Solitary Knight Gancelot. This is a level 6 warrior type monster that has a light attribute. It has 1800 attack points and 0 defense points and is a scale 8 pendulum monster. But what is its effect? You can discard this card, add one blaster blade from your deck to your hand. I forgot to add Royal Paladin Blaster Blade, but those are details. Uh, obviously, the Yu Gi Oh! Pro text, I managed to fi fix this fi thing. Now, um, you can use it for two purposes, you won't surely summon it, because it's pretty bad. It's a level 6 monster that still has 1800 attack points. And that's pretty low. So you will use it for two other purposes. Pendulum scale, it's still a scale 8 pendulum monster, so you can always have a high limit of level levels to pendulum summon. But then there is the other purpose that it's the best one. You can discard this card to add directly from the deck a Royal Paladin Blaster Blade that is the easiest monster to special summon, especially if you have two or more light monsters. Besides this fact, Gancelot is not really helpful. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to help me, subscribe and leave a like on each of my videos. Follow my Yu Gi Oh! Pro Structure Tournament videos too, and I hope you like what I do. The following video will be about Holy Dragon Saint Blood Dragon and Royal Paladin Palamedes. See you soon!